And it's not even necessarily that they were saying like, oh, this role is for a white woman only, but it was kind of like, this role is for a ravishingly beautiful girl. And that, in a coded way, meant that it wasn't for me. Do your friends describe you as a hot Latina mom? Obviously. <laughs> Even go so far to call you the real life Sofia Vergara? New TV show is now searching for hot blooded, passionate, attractive Latina moms. The emphasis here is more on the fact that she's hot and less on the fact that she's a mom. Reality shows are weird because they're definitely playing into stereotypes. If I hear one more time Latinas referred to as spicy, I'm gonna <laughs> freak out and then people will tell me I'm being hot blooded and spicy. I actually found this kind of funny as a Latin person. What do they think about Latin folk? Like we're all like, like with maracas or something. Acura car commercial. The role name is African American car dealer. Role details, nice looking, friendly, not too dark. I just got so awkward in here. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Clearly, um, they're not a fan of people that are more tan. It's like when I think about the spectrum of blackness, like I could go to someone else and be like, all right, well, like I'm lighter than them, but I'm darker than them. So like, am I am I too dark? Am I not too dark? Like where where do I fit on that spectrum? It's colorism. It's just one of those things where there, people are like, if you're darker skinned, then they don't want you. Six words, and that's like the most racist shit I've read all week. Yeah. We're just getting started. Like I feel I like it's just gonna get way worse from here. Whoa. Oh my god, I can't, okay. Male, 20s to 40s Asian, petite, average, or chubby, frontal and back nudity, must have extremely, <gasps> Must have an extremely small penis. This makes me sad. This makes yeah. me so mad. It should. I also think what's like troublesome is that whenever race is called out, it's to play out a stereotype. If you're an Asian dude, you gotta be like weird looking, we're gonna give you a tiny peen, and that's perfect. There's no redeeming factor in this other than the fact that Chang gets a name. This gets two giant Asian <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, I I don't even want to read this out loud. I feel like tactless even repeating what's on this page. A girls, these are the hottest of the hottest. Models must have real hair. B girls, these are fine girls, long natural hair, really nice body, small waist, nice hips. You should be light skinned. Beyonce is a prototype here. Oh, what? I don't know where the f this casting director came from. No, no. Let's like, let's stop. Let's like think. So C girls are African American girls, medium to light skinned, with a weave. D girls. These are African American girls. Poor, not in good shape. Medium to dark skin tone. Whoa. What? So like the hotter the girl is, the more open her ethnicity can be, but the more undesirable the girl gets, the more pigeonholed her race becomes. You know why Beyonce is a B girl? Cause she's black. Oh. Again with like skin darkness determining yeah. your worth. This is like literally my childhood insecurities on like a piece of paper. This just makes me sad, and it makes me really sad for young actors and actresses who are trying to come up and seeing how, like, if you're a person of color, if you're a woman, this is what is out there for you. There aren't necessarily a ton of dynamic roles for you. That while we've come a long way from, like, pure, you know, blackface or yellowface or things like that, racism has just sort of molded itself. It's manifested itself in a new, sneakier way. It's not gone, it just doesn't look the way it used to look. Yeah. This is why I need to write 16 more movies. Like, we need to be yeah. producing content and making our own films and sitting on the casting couch. <laughs>